What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and in this video we're just going to be giving a quick recap of everything that was announced or not announced in the brand new eFootball livestream that they did. So hope you guys enjoy. We'll have a look at a new legend coming as well. Let's go. All right, let's so kicking us off with the trailer. We got some brand new cards to look at. We already had Messi and Kubo. These cards are all done in the Captain Sue Bassa style, okay? We got Kimmich from Bayern München. We got Manuel Neuer here as well. We're going to have a new, brand new card as well, which is going to be Luis Suarez, right? So they showed us this card here, a 93 rated CF, and of course, up a Meccano as well. So these are all in the Captain Subasa style, which is the collaboration that they're doing. And they're really going heavy on this collaboration. It is also volume one, so there will be a second volume of this as well. Avatar sets, artworks, badges, in-game strips, and various in-game items. We'll talk about that uh, towards the end of the video, just maybe in about 60 seconds or so, right? But... For this year, with the big announcement was probably Hazard. Now, depending on how much you rate Hazard or how much you liked him as a player, whether you consider him a legend or not, we got a brand new trailer for Hazard. You know, you're going to be either hyped or you're just not going to be bothered and waiting for new legends. There are some big, huge legends coming, but for now, we do have Eden Hazard that's going to be dropping and probably dropping quite soon because his face is already in the game, his card is already done up, they have a trailer, probably a week or so before he drops, I would say. Um... It just makes sense to drop him around the Christmas period, you know, before they they kind of like um, bring in new stuff, right? That's also another look at the Messi card. We will be getting more cards in this. So expect there to be the more partner clubs, Milan and of course Manchester United and probably Barcelona to feature. And as I said, they're going very heavy on this collaboration, lads, with the captain Subasa. They've added this new filter, right? The gameplay doesn't seem to have changed. It doesn't seem to have gone that like super power-up arcade kind of you know style at least not in this gameplay right but they have gone really hard on this as a filter so it has the look of an animated captain subasa collaboration style filter it seems to be just visual at the moment with new cutscenes and new stuff like this we're also going to be taking it with captain subasa here for the penalty kicks and we're going to get new animations and new tra uh, new transmit uh overlays and stuff like here and new celebrations so yeah, it's going to be interesting, man. I don't know how you guys feel about this. Are you a big fan of Captain Subasa, Or would you just rather this stuff doesn't really come into your console experience or your mobile experience, right? Because I do think that as long as it's not gameplay being affected by this, I don't really have that much of an issue with it. If it's just visual and it's just part of a collaboration, it's not there forever, okay? Now, I did talk about this as well earlier where we were talking about the artwork. So look if you see here in the middle of the screen, artworks by tree. Konami's official UK or European Twitter has actually posted a little bit more information about this, okay? And it says, introducing a new feature called artwork. Now, this to me looks like a juzzle, a juzzle, a, a, pick, a puzzle pieces type jigsaw type thing. It says you can receive pieces in various ways, including event rewards. Use these pieces to complete an artwork and earn a reward for your efforts. Your completed artworks are displayed in the gallery, accessible from the mission screen. As the cherry on the cake, you can view them on the cake, you can view them in full screen mode. So this seems to be that we're going to be getting a gallery mode as well, which more on that in the stream tomorrow we talk about. Also for mobile, they have added a brand new UI layout for pre-game, and they've also given you the option to change stadium, to change the details, time in the day, the snow, the weather. If you want it to be raining, you want it to be nighttime, you want it to be snowing. All of this is now coming into the mobile version of the game, as well as all the licensed clubs' kits, being able to change those, and the licensed club stadiums, being able to ch change those. So there you have it there as well for that. But it's not the biggest update that they've probably brought for quality of life. I would say that, yes, this is nice for mobile, but console players such as myself and most of you guys that watch me will have had this forever, you know? I would definitely like that to be some sort of, like, custom kit type thing where you could pick your custom kits it would look very clean you know even if it was some sort of like basic template that you could pick and put a sponsor on it would be quite nice okay so i do feel like that the biggest quality of life update that they've done is the gp shop so this gp shop means that you can exchange the gp that you've been sitting on for months and years sometimes people have been sitting on this for forever right and some people have like 50, 60 million of GP. You can exchange your GP finally. There's no mention of eFootball points in this one, but you can exchange GP for the items you see on screen here. So you can you can use your GP that you've been saving for, for a long time. If you have any spare GP left over, you can get position trainers, skill trainers, trainer XP, 
and of course booster crafting. Now there's no mention in V4.2 as of yet whether these items will still stay random, as in you can pick exactly what skill you want and trade in multiple items for a skill such as the booster crafting, or if it's just going to you know continue to be random or they're going to change it, right? But that's probably the biggest quality of life one. But I want to know from you guys what you think of the game right now. Like, I want to genuinely know what you think of where this game is going. What you think of it. We we are going to be getting some new stuff for V4.2. The new modes, the new lighting, the new graphics, the new player faces, the new gameplay adjustments and stuff like that. We're going to have to wait now until tomorrow to play ourselves. We will be streaming early. We're going to be streaming a long time tomorrow. We're going to be streaming a load tomorrow and have a big, huge stream. But... Let me know your thoughts. For now, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for 55,000 subscribers as well. It's absolutely humbling. Thank you for the support. We'll see you soon. Peace.